we have our first center part created. Now if we go to the second one, you see we have this top and bottom uh, deleted, which is perfect. And we are going to use symmetry again. So go back to the transform and activate symmetry. And we're going to use Z, but without radial symmetry. So we're going to go back to draw and control, click, drag. And again, we made the selections with with masking and we're going to create polygons uh, clicking on the polygon polygroups under tools uh, on the button from masking control click drag to make the mask disappear control shift click control click control shift click control click get the point by now uh, how this works probably so we're going to see what is going to be created with the selection right uh, click button and pull outwards and we have our second Clicked shift, clicked uh, click. No, control click drag to make the masking disappear. Click on the group visible, and we are we have the second uh, middle part created. I'm using my uh, keyboard shortcuts to uh, jump from uh, this. Draw, move, scale, or rotate buttons. So I'm not going to to say uh, all the time what I'm doing. You will probably see up here which one I have selected. So we now have to make sure we have the upper and the bottom part uh, the same because when we create the curve brush, it's going to multiply this this all all this uh, mesh. And it's going to when and we want to create uh, some sort of fluent uh, transition. So we're going to control shift and drag and holding alt to make it disappear and go back to geometry and delete hidden. And we have our second middle part created. So now we are going to create the upper and the bottom part of the pipe of our pipe. So now we're going to go back to symmetry and activate it and on the z-axis and radial. And now we're going to use it. Let's see. Eight radial counts. And we're going to Holding control, click, drag, and select some meshes. Let go. Now we're going to mask the upper part too and the bottom part. You'll get the picture picture why we did this um, in a second. So now we go back to Tools, uh, polygroup, and click from masking to create polygroups. Click, uh, control, click, track to make the mask disappear. Now we can see we have this uh, situation with, uh, which we don't want. We can fix this with control, shift, clicking on this one, and control, shift, click, and drag, and holding alt. And now we group visible, control shift, uh, click and drag and group visible, control shift, click and we have exactly what we wanted. Now we're going to control shift click 
and we're going to make this geometry more crisp. So when we pull out these uh, areas, uh, it's going to be more crisp. So we're going to go to geometry, select crisp and click on edge loop. Now the program made really uh, subtle edge loop uh, which is not even seen on this uh, magnification but believe me it's there so now we're going to uh, control shift click to make it all visible now you can see this edge around this part which is going to make it possible to pull out these parts in more crisp way. We're going to go control shift click again and control click control shift click and control click. Now we have the select selected polygons which we want to pull out. Now we don't have we don't need uh, symmetry so X on the keyboard to deselect symmetry. Click on the polygons and again right mouse button and click and drag. So we made this part. Now we're going to we're going to group visible again. And we're going to mask this part. Going on the top view, control shift and select clip circle center brush, which is going to uh, allow us to allow us to clip uh, this inwards. And now we are going to select the bottom part in a way which control shift and select select lasso this with this tool we can select uh, control shift and click and we are selecting only this part which we want and holding control shift and click and drag we make only this visible and we are going to make it into a polygroup so we can select it more quickly so control shift click come on sometimes it's hard to select uh, but you get used to it so now we have this one selected again and we're going to make crisp edge loop again hopefully I'm going to be able to select it yes control shift and drag and we're going to mask it, control click, control shift click, control click and now we have this button part selected and we're going to use move the polygon tool clicking on the mesh and holding right mouse button and click and drag outwards and we have our button part created which is great, control click drag to unmask everything and click on group visible so now we have our button part selected made created whatever however you put it now we're going to do duplicate it and select the last one and we're going to align it as a matter of fact, we're going to delete this last one. 
and first we're going to align this one 